And today we're gonna be checking out some weird and cool things that you can only find in Japan. This is an advertisement for a movie in Japan. I can't tell if there is something in that truck. Is it a hologram? Is it a projection? It looks so real. Whatever that is, he trapped in there. Free him. He ain't do nothing wrong. Man, if I was a kid and I saw that, I would be terrified. They got a hand wash station that also has a section to clean your phone. So you slide it right on in. And it's sanitizing your phone as you're washing your hands. How cool is that? Okay, but what if your phone gets stuck in there? What if it eats iPhones as an energy source? Oh no, look, he's done washing his hands and the phone is done sanitizing. That's pretty cool. In Japan, if you're using one of the machines at the train station and you need help, somebody will literally pop out of the machine to help you. That's gotta be the best five-star customer service I have ever seen. Not even Karen would complain. When you ask for a real person and you actually get one to come help you do it, now you can. Breakfast at McDonald's Japan. They have mini pancakes and they come in this cute little pink box. But wait, you got this packet with cream and apple syrup. And you can just squeeze it out at the same time. It's so little, I'm gonna need like three packs of those. Y'all know they got so many different kinds of vending machines in Japan. But there's also a sriracha vending machine. Like it is specifically for sriracha only. And you get it in like this cute little capsule. Wow, that is very fancy. If you ever worried about looking ugly at a restaurant while you eat, you know, sometimes the food's so good you just wanna <laughs> devour. They got you covered with a stock photo face on a napkin. So you just hold it on up, hide your ugly eating face. <laughs> is this necessary? I think I'm gonna just sit facing the wall. Another very cool bathroom. This one is a public bathroom in Japan. As you can see, it has glass walls. You can see through it. But when you go inside and lock the door, the glass all fogs up, so you got privacy. But don't let that distract you from the fact that you can take a dump in a glass box in a public park. I will still try it though. In America, we got like Batman, Joker, doing street performances. In Japan, we got actual Titans walking around. And you can take pictures with them. Surely bad. But will that stop him from eating you? I would shake his stubby little hand. This was one of the most mind-blowing things when I was in Japan. At the 7-Eleven and convenience stores, they have a fridge, but it's hot. Like a heated fridge. All those drinks on there are hot. Excuse me? I thought that was insane. Like on a cold morning day, grab some hot tea. This is one of the weirdest desserts I have ever seen. So they pour this packet in and then wait for it. He's gonna pull it out. Gently, gently. Come on, we ain't gone all day. Wait for it to emerge. And he's pulling out this like slime tongue looking thing. Where did that come from? It's like the powder is making the liquid into this long jelly tongue. It's so long, it keeps getting longer and longer. There we go, it's final four. Now eat it. Coca-Cola in America. Coca-Cola in Japan. They got clear Coca-Cola. I wonder what it tastes like. Is that what Coke looks like without the artificial color? Is it just clear? Oh man. I can't imagine drinking a clear liquid and being like, this is Coke. No ma'am, this is TV static water. Okay, we gotta close this door. Everybody in. <laughs> A train attendant literally pushing everybody in like, guys, come on, we gotta shut these doors, we gotta go. Pack like a can of sardines. This happened to me when I was in Japan. Like if you go in the morning or when people are getting out of work, like the trains are just packed. This might look like an ordinary bento box, but it's actually self-heating. What? So you're telling me you can buy one of these meals, pop them out of the fridge, it kind of look like a book, and then when you're ready to eat it, you take it out, pull this string. What, we got a fire going on on the inside? Oh, it has one of those like heating packets, so it will heat your meal. Whoa! Y'all really thought of everything, huh? No microwave necessary. They also got these little dual packets with ketchup and mustard for your hot dog. How efficient is that? Instead of ripping open some ketchup, ripping open some mustard, we got it all in one pack. Drizzy my glizzy. In my other videos, we looked at the square shaped watermelons, right? It doesn't stop there. Is that almost $2,000 for a watermelon? But he's in a silly goofy mood. Take my money. So how do you get a square shaped watermelon? So watermelons actually grow round. They didn't always look this cubicle. So when they're still very small, they put them in a square shaped box. By the time they grow and they're ripe, they take the shape of the container and wham bam, cubed melon ma'am. Oh, when they cut it open, I was like, that looked dry. But no, it's like yellow and the pink combined. And if you guys ever had yellow watermelon, I can tell you, delicious. You know you can do this with other fruits and veggies too, including cucumber. Pop 
some of the containers while they're still growing. And then wham bam, you got some star cucumber mayo. These are so cute. Pop it on your salad. It looks magical. Automated shops are becoming so much more popular. Basically, you can walk into a store and there won't be any employees. Look, there's nobody here in this pudding shop. They expect you not to steal. I'm sure they still have cameras. Look at all this pudding. <gasps> They're so cute. I ain't never heard of a pudding shop. So you just put the money in the box and take your pudding. Oh man, America could never. You put this in America, they would rob the whole entire box and all the pudding and the fridge that it came in. Full body umbrellas for when the fit is fire. This head to toe parada. You can't be getting this wet. Or when you allergic to rain. In your very own dry bubble. Wonderful. You know, if square watermelon isn't your thing, there is square watermelon bread. I'm not kidding. You can buy these loaves of bread that are shaped like the square watermelon. And when you cut them in half, it looks like a watermelon on the inside. That's pretty crazy. They got this phone booth that is also a goldfish aquarium. I don't know who thought like, goldfish talking on a phone? <gasps> Genius! They gonna be all right in there? They just swimming around. You can watch the fish while you talk on the phone. All I can think about is how expensive this is. <laughs> This cafe in Japan is hiring paralyzed people to control a robot server at a restaurant so they can make money. How cool is that? So even though they can't physically work, they're controlling a robot to work and make money on their behalf. Like if this ain't the future of technology, cause that is wild. If you're ever waiting around for friends, don't want anyone to harass you or talk to you, you can buy a vending machine disguise. I'm not even kidding, this is a real thing. It starts out as a skirt, then you pull it up, a wham bam, you're a whole entire vending machine ma'am. 10 out of 10 disguise until somebody decides they want a Coca-Cola and why this ain't working. Uh, don't even get me started about the toilets in Japan. Top tier. Going to the bathroom is a whole entire experience. So first you sanitize your seat. Every single public bathroom that I went to, even like in the subway, was a bidet. You got a back spray for your butt, and then girls, they got a front spray. But you can also play music. There's also a privacy button on the toilet, which plays water sounds. So if you are a shy pisser, you don't want anyone to hear. You blast the water sound. Max volume. This way, if you really need to blow up the toilet, nobody will hear it and you can poop in privacy. <laughs> like a queen. That is so cool. I saw this go viral, but it's a real thing. Butter on a stick. No knife necessary. Just toast and For a country that loves butter, why we don't got this? Walmart, I need some answers. There are shoes made specifically for stepping on cockroaches. Cockroaches, big problem. Also, big bug. Imagine the crunch. Does it somehow make it less audible? What about the remains? I am interested in your product, but I have a lot of questions. On to the weird. Japan got these statues that are actually benches that you can sit on. But as you can see, ain't nobody wants to sit on them. That is weird. It's like the human centipede. But as a funky, fresh, colorful bench. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna stand. This is a ramen face shield. It'll keep your hair back and everything. Anything to elevate your noodle slurping experience. Enjoy the ramen with no distractions. No hair getting in the way, you know. It's just noodle to mouth. Do you ever struggle while applying lipstick? Well, now you can get a one-size-fits-most lip stencil. Just pop it on your face, wear it like a mask, and fill in the outline. Juicy and voluminous lips. What if I color out of the lines? They also got robots everywhere. At airport securities, at hotels. You can talk to them, ask them questions. Also, almost every restaurant has these super realistic food models outside the window of the restaurant so you can literally see what the food looks like before you order or decide to eat there. Y'all ever want to take a nap standing up on the subway? Just pull out your chin pillow on a tripod and then just rest your snout. Comfy, right? Can you really do a stand-up nap like this? But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment below, let me know which one was the coolest one. And I can't wait until I can go to Japan again. And if you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button in the face. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click, click, and subscribe to the Wolf Pack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.